Hello and welcome to Solid Workstation. My name's Stuart and in today's tutorial we're going to look at this example of the CSWA uh, practice examination around part modelling. If you struggle at any point during this tutorial, do get in touch with me using the comments section below this video and I'll be more than happy to help you out and provide some support and advice around getting this completed. Best of luck and let's get started. Okay, so I've got SOLIDWORKS open. I'm going to work to start off with in the front plane and I'm going to create a 100 by 63 uh, millimeter rectangle where I'm going to start to cut out uh, this rectangle shape here and I'm going to start to cut out this um, bit of geometry here as well. Okay, so you can see from this um, there's some key dimensions. So I've got a 40 gap, um, I've got an angle at 45, I've got an angle at 20 got a radius of 10 and I've got a 15 millimeters from the outside and then here I've got a 15 by 40 millimeter rectangle that's been cut out at the top so I'm going to start with that so I'm going to go in my front plane normal 2 sketch a center rectangle use my origin and then 100 for this and 63 for the height Then from here, I'm going to grab a um, corner rectangle and sketch that out. Smart dimension this up. This was 15 and this was 40. Okay. And I need to put in this bit of geometry here. So I'm just doing, going to do Control A on my keyboard to get that normal two view again and I'm going to go up at an angle and down at an angle. I'm going to specify that 40 millimeter gap. I'm going to specify the 50 millimeter gap from the outside. We had an angle of 45 degrees here. And we had an angle of, let's just check that, I think it was 20, 20 degrees here. Okay, so there's my 15 gap, there's my 40 gap between uh, points. I've done my 45 degree angle, I'm doing my 20 degree angle now, and then I'm going to put my R10 curve on there. So 20 degree angle needs to go in here. Then I'm going to go up to my um, sketch fillet, 10 millimeters in there, and click on those two points. From here, I'm just going to Go to Features and Extrude Boss Base. And I'm going to pick my contours that I'm going to extrude, which is going to be this inner one here. And I'm going to extrude that out by B, which is 50 millimeters. So I'm going to change this value here to 50 and extrude that out. Perfect. Okay, the next thing I want to do is concentrate on this bit here that's been removed which uh, states that it is an R20 uh, circle. Its centre point, if you follow this line around, is 35 millimetres from the bottom. And we're cutting back 9 millimetres. So I'm going to click on this face. I'm going to go normal 2. I'm going to sketch a circle just anywhere for now. It's fine. I know that the radius of this circle is 20, so its diameter must be 40. And I know the center of it is situated 35 millimeters from the bottom. And I also know that that center point is vertical with this edge. So I can click on the center of the circle, I can hold down control and click on this edge, and I can make, whoops, click on this point, click on this point down here, and make the, a relation vertical. Okay, and green tick. Then from here I'm going to go and grab a line, 
and draw a line from this quadrant to the top. Just click on that line and just make sure it's vertical. And then we can go into features now, extruded cut, and we can extrude cut this bit and this bit by nine millimeters. Like so. Green tick. And then I have noticed that there is a hole here, diameter 10 and 10 to its center point. And it's also situated on the same center line here, so 35 up. So click on the face I'm interested in and normal to. Sketch a circle, just anywhere for now. And we can smart dimension the center of that circle to the bottom. We know that that's 35. We know that from the center of the circle to the outside edge was 10 and that the diameter of the circle is also 10. It says on the drawing that all holes are through all unless otherwise stated. There's nowhere on this drawing that it states otherwise so we're going to go through all. So we're going to go to features, extruded cut and we're going to select through all and green tick. The next bit I'm going to focus on is going to be this bit. We've got three circles here. Um, we've got one with a radius of 25, one with a radius of um, 10, and one with a diameter of 10. So if we work in diameters from all, that would mean diameter 50, diameter 20, and diameter 10. So let's put those in. So into SolidWorks, and let's click on this face, normal 2, and let's sketch three circles. One big one, one medium one, and one small one. And let's smart dimension these up. So this is gonna be 50, this is gonna be 20, and this final one here is going to be 10. Then we know that it's situated 35 millimeters up, and it's situated 30 millimeters from that particular edge then from here we can do some cutting so let's have a look at what we need to cut so we need to cut this big circle back by 13 we need to cut this one back by okay it's saying here it's got a thickness of five so we're going to cut this back by eight and then that leaves uh, this one here Okay, our outer one. So 13 back for this one. This one we're going to cut back um, 8. And then this one we're going to leave as a remainder. So let's uh, nip back into SolidWorks and sort that out. So we're going to go to Features, Extruded Cut. Cut back this one by 13. Cut back again. So Extruded Cut. Oops, just go back out of that. Let's just open up this and open up our sketch and extrude cut. Extrude cut this one by eight, which will leave us with the remainder. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the next point that we need to do. Okay, so I can see a radius here of 25, so diameter of 50. Uh, that's occurring at 35 mil up and it's situated right on the edge here for its centre point and I'm going to go all the way back with that with an extrude cut so let's knit back into SOLIDWORKS so I'm going to click on this front face and normal to I'm going to grab a sketch of a circle pop it on this end point here give it a smart dimension of 50 make sure from the bottom to the center is 35 like so and yeah from there I'm just going to extrude back yeah all the way so features extrude cut and through all 
like so. Okay. Okay, let's move on to this uh, back face now. So if we press Control 2 on our keyboard, uh, we'll get a back face view. Okay, so on this back face, I know that I need a another circle producing, which has got a diameter of uh, 60, or radius of 30. It's positioned 35 millimeters up, and it's going to be extruded this way, extrude cut. If we do 50 minus our 8, we've got 42 uh, left over up until this point. So let's go ahead and get that sorted. So I'm going to go into sketch, grab a circle, Let's make sure I'm on this. Yeah, so I've clicked on this face and produce a sketch of a circle, like so. I know it's got a diameter of 60 or radius of 30. I know that this centre point uh, to the bottom is 35. And I know that this point and this point are going to be vertical. Just going to get a line now. Just draw that from this quadrant up to the top. And just make sure that there's a relationship between this line, hold down control, this line. Make these, um, sorry, this point here and this line coincident. Okay, and I want this one to be vertical. From here then I can uh, cut, so I can go uh, features, extruded cut, pick up my contours, which is going to be this one and this one, and I'm going to change that value there to 42, and green tick. However, I am left over with this bit, as you can see, that does not exist on the model here, Okay, so I do need to eliminate that from my uh, part. So to do that, quite easy, Okay, I'm going to click on this sketch go to convert entities i've converted it i'm now going to go into features extruded cut and just cut through all okay and that eliminates that from from the model okay let's go back into our engineering drawing let's have a look at what we need to do next so the next thing i'm going to do is put in this 10 millimeter diameter hole which is situated nine millimeters from this edge and 30 millimeters from this edge that's nice and simple, so let's go and uh, put that in. So spin the model around, click on this surface, control 8 on my keyboard to normal to view, and I want to produce a sketch of a circle on this face. Smart dimension that up at 10 millimeters. We know that it's 9 millimeters from this edge, so select the edge, select the center of the circle, and place in 9 millimeters, and then from the center of the circle, to the edge was 30. Okay, so we can put 30 in there. Features extruded cut, and we're going to cut through all. Okay, what else do we notice about this? There's a section missing here, okay, which is. Twelve millimeters and ten millimeters there. And there's this angle here that we need to look at, eighteen down and twenty degrees. Let's put this in. Um, and let's put this in. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go onto this face, I'm gonna go normal two. I'm gonna produce a sketch of a corner rectangle. From this corner here, I'm going to smart dimension that up. This was 50, and this was 12, like so. And yeah, we're going through all again with that. So features, extruded cut, through all, like so. And then we need this angle doing here, so 18 down and 20, uh, 20 degrees. So that's on this face. So normal two. Sketch a line. 
just draw a triangular shape like so put in your angle here at 20 degrees put in the height of this line here at 18 and then features extrude cut and through all So the last three things that we need to do is to complete the material and uh, it's stipulating that that must be copper. It must have a material density of 0 0.0089 grams per millimetres cubed and the overall mass of the product we need to uh, give that as well. So first thing we're going to do is uh, assign a um, material to this. I'm going to put an appearance on it as well. Um, so in my metals here, okay, I've got copper. I'm going to use a, a brush copper, just drag and drop that on as well and apply that to the whole body. But I'm also going to go into materials here, right click, edit, and it's not steel, it is a copper alloy. Scroll down till I find copper. Okay, and it's got to have a material density of 0 0.0089 um, grams per millimetres cubed. Obviously because we're working in metres and kilograms uh, this uh, value is right 8900 kilograms per meters cubed so we can apply that and close and it's asking now for a mass of the product so that's really straightforward you just go straight into the evaluate tab if that's not there you need to right click and ensure that evaluate is selected in this list select evaluate go to mass properties a new, a new dialog box will uh, open up and you can see there that the mass of this product is 1280.33 grams and you'd obviously put that into your answer box on the CSWA exam. So that concludes this tutorial on um, a bit of practice work on the CSWA exam for SOLIDWORKS. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and give me a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.